My business is black bolt amplification. <laughs> That's me. I've been building amps for about 10 years now. I was repairing for some shops in LA and doing custom work and I was always modifying my own work and my own amps and trying to figure it out, but I stuck with it and uh, continued to learn and continue to study the science of it. So I started building, building amplifiers and uh, I was very inspired by the tweed sound. I mean, really my inspiration from the beginning was just trying to get the great Fender clean tones and the great Marshall aggression rock and roll tones and being able to authentically, I think the key word there is authentic. There's a lot of amps out there that have gain channels and they do two and three and four voices. It just, you're lucky if the clean channel sounds good. So I really wanted to get an authentic, really big, pure, clean tone uh, and be able to also get great overdrive tones and then move up into real rock and roll, you know, teeth, so to speak, teeth. We are based in uh, Los Angeles, California. We have a shop basically downtown LA. We're kind of hidden out. If you walk into our shop, you'd never know it was there. It's off the grid. And it's um, it looks like 1930 Mississippi. It's like old, lumber, everything we build is old lumber. So um, literally all the wood is reclaimed wood. We built all the outdoor areas out of big old lumber timbers and old uh, reclaimed corrugated steel. I think some of the key points of what Black Bolt does is that all the wood for the amplifier cabinets and all of the guitars, all of the grill cloths, it's all recycled and reclaimed. That's about a hundred year old piece of pine. That is so cool. So um, there's a lot of guitar companies and instrument companies that are making instruments and they contribute to the clear cutting of forestry throughout the world. That's why they keep outlawing certain types of wood in certain parts of the world like Brazilian rosewood has been outlawed in Brazil because they were clear cutting the rainforest. So what we do does not contribute to any sort of clear cutting or any sort of deforestation. It's 90% of the wood we use comes from salvage yards and reclaimed wood houses, so to speak. A light bulb might go on and say, wow, you know, we should support small businesses that are doing good things for the environment rather than buying another Fender guitar, or another Gibson guitar that's just like ramming them through the system, cutting the woods fast and furious. They cook the woods to try to make them sound old. This is old wood. It's a different game, you know not cooked and torrified and fancy words on it. It's an old slab of wood, so it's dry, it's straight, the necks are straight, they're not gonna warp. It's not like a new guitar that might warp for a few months or years. It's old and dry.